Factorization by grouping terms. Grouping the terms which have the uh, same or common factors. So factorization by grouping terms is all about looking for common factors. So we have factorized the following. We have AP plus BP plus AQ plus BQ. So what we are going to do is to group them in twos. So we are going to pick AP and BP. We will group AQ and BQ. What is common between AP and BP is P. So we are going to write our P. Put your P. What has remained here? A. And what has remained there? B. Group that. Plus, what is common between AQ and BQ is Q. Write it down. Write down what is common. Open your brackets. What has remained here? That A. What has remained there? That B. Now, you'll find that when you factorize by grouping terms, there will be a common factor. A plus B. A plus B is a common factor. So we are going to write down the common factor and group what has remained outside the bracket. So group P plus Q. So our answer will be the common factor A plus B and P plus Q. That is our answer. Part B, we have 3AX plus 6AB plus 4X plus 8B. Do we have anything common here? Yes. What is common between 3 and 6 is a 3. And what is common there? We have A, which is common. So we'll factorize our 3A, which is common. What to remain here is an X. What are we supposed to multiply with, uh, with this 3 to get a 6 is a 2, and the B has remained. So we have 3A, open your brackets, X plus 2B plus. What is common between 4 and 8 is a 4. Write down what is common. Open your brackets. Whatever has remained, we'll put inside the bracket. So we have an X. Which number are we supposed to multiply with this 4 to get an 8, 2, and then a B? So you find that our common factor is X plus 2B. Write down X plus 2B. Group what has remained. So we have 3A and a positive 4. So our answer will be 3A plus 4, X plus 2B. That is our answer. We continue. We have that question. We have 3. Open your brackets x minus 1 plus x open your brackets x minus 1 close your brackets now when you look at this question they're saying factorize completely the common factor has already been found which is x minus 1 so we'll just write it down and then group 3 and positive x so our answer will look like that it will be x minus 1 which is a common factor and 3 plus x we continue Part D is saying, factorize, we have 4AY minus 5X plus 2AX minus 10Y. Now, when you look at this question, you will find that between 4AY and 5X, we don't have a common factor. Between 2AX and 10Y, there's a common factor too. But here, since there's no common factor, we'll have to rewrite it. We'll rearrange them. So, we can always say 4AY We'll bring our 10y here, plus 2ax minus 5x. So what is common between 4 and 10 is a 2. And then there's a y which is common. We'll factorize it. So our common factor will be 2y. What will remain here is 2a and a 5 there. Plus what is common between 2ax and negative 5x is an x. What will remain here is 2a and a negative 5. So our common factor is 2a minus 5. Group 2y and the positive x. So our answer is going to be 2y plus x and the common factor 2a minus 5. So let's look at the last question. The last one is saying factorize completely. We have 9ax plus 15ay minus 9bx minus 15by. So what is common between 3 and 15? What is common between 9 and 15 is a 3. There's an A which is common, so we'll factorize that. What will remain here is a 3X, and what will remain there is a 5Y. What is common between 9 and 15 is a 3. We have 50, uh, a B which is common, so we have negative 3B. What will remain here is 3X and a positive 5Y. So our common factor is 3X plus 5Y, and then we are going to group 3A and the negative 3b now when you look at 3a and 3b negative 3b there's a common factor which is a 3 so we'll factorize our 3 our answer will be 3 
Open your brackets, a minus b, close your brackets, open your brackets, 3x plus 5y, close your brackets. As simple as that.